welcome back to my channel today. I'm Ashley from mamasdance.com and today we are showing you our cottage kitchen renovation reveal. Hey, I'm Ashley. You might know me from the blog This Mama's Dance where I share inspiration for the heart and home. Join me over the next six weeks while my husband Matt and I renovate our old farmhouse kitchen into the cottage kitchen of our dreams. This project was a huge undertaking. I don't want to lead you astray to make you think that it is not a ton of work to renovate a kitchen, uh, let alone with four kids living in the reno and doing all the work ourselves, but we made it. We still have things to finish off, like painting the ceiling, adding trim, doing some crown molding around the cabinets but we have made such progress on this kitchen. It doesn't even look the same. So I wanna take a minute to show you where we started and then I'm gonna talk about some of the things that we added to this kitchen. One of the key design features in this room was that I wanted storage, plenty of it, but I wanted it to be functional. So we went with drawers on all of the lower cabinets and I am so excited to organize my life. I just love the functionality of drawers. Um, you can get in and reach everything. We even added drawers in our pantry. So there's some pull-out drawers inside. We've got some hidden drawers and there's just drawers, drawers, drawers on all the lower cabinets. For the upper cabinets, we went with just these two upper cabinets behind me and then some cabinets on the fridge bank. And then we left the rest of the area pretty much clear. I added an open shelf just uh, more so that I can decorate it. I might add another one. I plan to add a few, but once I put one up there, I kind of like the way that it looks, so I'm just gonna live with it for a little while. I cannot say enough about these doors and drawer fronts. They are beautiful. They came from a company called Kitch. We were so lucky to work with Kitch on this whole project. They were amazing to work with. They were just with us every step of the way. Anytime we had a question about anything, they were there. All of their doors came shrink wrapped and just were packaged beautifully and it was super straightforward. They worked seamlessly with the IKEA system. All of the hinge holes were cut out. All of the door fronts were good to go. And it was just as easy as working with IKEA manufactured doors, but you have so many more options to choose from. So I went with a classic shaker. I love a classic shaker. We went with the color uh, Stratus and then on these two upper cabinets, and then we went with the color Mist on the lowers, which is like a really soft kind of putty beigey gray. It's a bit of a chameleon and I love how it looks. It's warm, but still neutral. Our farmhouse sink is just ah, so beautiful. It's so big. I love having it to wash dishes in. I literally, you can ask my husband, I never like doing dishes and he made a comment. He's like, you're just like washing the dishes every night. It's like, yes I am, because I just, I love standing in front of our big beautiful window. It's so wonderful. This kitchen feels huge. Um, and having the wall out just makes it like a completely different room. I'm so glad that we decided to carry the tongue and groove um, that's behind me here onto the other wall. We have it all throughout our house. We put it in our addition and it really unifies the old part of the house with the new part of the house. So I love the way that works. It was the right decision to make. We had thought about doing subway tile up the wall but I'm so glad we went this route. It just fits with the aesthetic of the rest of the house. When planning a kitchen renovation, there are literally a hundred different directions you could go. I don't know if you're anything like me, but I love so many different styles. I love so many different materials. I really wanted to go with stone countertops. They weren't in the budget. We looked at laminate. I didn't really love the options and there was just a huge lead time, which when we're living in the reno, wasn't ideal because we had to get the countertops templated before we could actually get the countertops. So it was a four to six week wait living without countertops. We decided to go with butcher bought countertops from Ikea. And this wasn't my first instinct. I love butcher block. I love the look of them. 
We did use them in a bathroom and they just got super water damage so I was nervous to put them in again. But I know that we're going to take care of these countertops. Budget wise, price point wise, they are such good value and we were able to put them in ourselves. The really big game changer is that IKEA offers a huge island piece. So that is how we were able to get the massive amount of counter space on our peninsula. I know for some people it might not seem massive, but when you were working with this much counter space on a 30 inch cabinet, and then, you know, a little bit of counter on either side of the sink, it feels massive. It's like, I think we quadrupled our counter space in this kitchen at least. So I'm so pleased with how they turned out. Matt did a great job of making it all work and we just really lucked out in that the cabinet configuration we had chosen worked with the IKEA butcher block sizes. I really thought about adding in an accent color and I was going to put it on the peninsula. So you might remember last week I showed you some different color samples. I tried a few. I tried the really dark kind of slaty soap stone color and then I also tried that kind of cottagey blue. But I didn't love the way that it looked. It was cute from the back but where the cabinet front met up with the side of the peninsula, it just didn't look right. And so I decided to take the color of the lower cabinets and carry it around to the peninsula. It's really neutral, it just feels bright and fresh. Who knows if I'll change it down the road, but I'm really loving the way that it looks with the corbels and it just feels really clean and sticks to kind of that original vision that I had for this kitchen, which is just kind of light and bright cottagey um, and just really hopefully timeless. Timeless for our family, beautiful for us to enjoy. Something that I'm very excited about that we have yet to add is lighting. So I hummed and hawed about what I wanted to do with the lighting. I think I'm going to go with a glass pendant or a pendant with a glass shade, two of them over the peninsula and then we're going to be adding in pot lights. So some of those final finishing touches that we still get to do and I'm going to update you guys of course along the way. I can't thank you enough for tuning into these videos, visiting me over at mamasdance.com and just cheering me on through Instagram and in the comments. It is so fun to work on this. Thank you again to Linda of Calling It Home for creating the One Room Challenge. I've taken part in it a couple of different times and it is just such a huge motivator for getting rooms finished in your house so that you can just live and enjoy it. Uh, I can't wait to get organized and get rid of some of the clutter that is kicking around. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, kinda, and at my blog, mamasdance.com.